95 years ago today, in 1927, the government in Britain decided to enforce a statutory commission in India. The commission was called the Indian Statutory Commission, also known as Simon Commission, and was led by the appointing authority Sir John Simon. In 1928, the Simon Commission was dispatched to India, the aim was to study constitutional reforms in the Government of India Act 1919 and, on its basis, decide India's political future. The commission highlighted the reformation of the Indian political system but ironically did not include any Indian representative. As a result, it faced strong criticism and condemnation in all parts of India. Once it arrived in Bombay on February 3, 1928, the commission met with huge protests and boycotts by many great Indian leaders like Lala Lajpat Rai, Jauhar Lal Nehru, a group of the Muslim League led by Muhammad Ali Jinnah, and many more such freedom fighters. On October 30, 1928, a massive protest broke out in Lahore where many nationalist leaders and common people protested in order to prevent the commission members from leaving the railway station. The police intervened to remove the demonstrators and charged lotties on them, injuring hundreds of people. Sadly, Lala Lajput Wright sustained critical injuries from the incident and passed away a few days later. This incident created a domino effect in India's struggle for independence. In the aftermath, after facing severe backlash and criticism from all parts of India, the British government tried to regulate the situation by assuring people that for all future constitutional reforms, India would have her own dominion status with complete internal self-government. To know more about such historical incidents and stories, read next Social Science.